Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Joe Borer from Sports Fanatic News, and this is going to be our next NHL team preview on game day, the first day of the season. Let's get hyped, get excited, as we are going to be previewing one of the top teams in the league, the Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. As the Tampa Bay Lightning are looking poised and ready coming into this season, they have Stammer coming back. They unfortunately are losing Nikita Kucherov. But for John Cooper, I saw a report earlier, he seems pretty confident still, saying Sorelli, which he is, is the real deal and is going to be a great cat out there for many years. Uh, I added the second part of that, obviously, for those Tampa Bay Lightning down there. And Nikita Kucherov, when he comes back next year, it's just the embarrassment of riches again. I mean, this team has Victor Hedman, Ryan McDonough, Mikhail Sergachev, Eric Chernock developed into... A very, very, very solid defenseman. Uh, they brought in uh, Luke Shen, of course, um, to provide more physicality as well. But uh, they have a very good team on defense already. They were performing with those four core people I said in Hedman, McDonough, Sergachev, and Cernok. And now they're adding in another great defenseman in prospect, Cal Foot. I mean, this team... Just has more and more and more and more, yes, I did need to say three mores there, riches in their system. It is ridiculous. I mean, this dude has a ridiculous shot and more of a well-rounded arsenal of skills. Honestly, Cal Foote is a guy that probably is going to become one of the most underrated defensemen over time in hockey because usually those guys that have that well arsenal around the school skills, excuse me, like Jake Muzzin, uh, Jacob Slavin, those guys, Yvonne Provorov on the Flyers, they don't get talked about as much as the Dougie Hamiltons, the Cal McCars, the Sandines, the Drew Dowdies in their prime, the the uh, Bufflins in their prime, like all those guys because of their, they don't have as much flashiness because they just do everything well. Almost like for my baseball fans, if you're going back in time, a Jeff Kent type guy did everything well, um, but never, but, um, for some people's mind, not in mind, didn't do anything, uh, great per se, but I really like the way this team's built, I mean, who doesn't, this team is absolutely stacked and ridiculous, and I believe they are going to finish as one of the top teams in the league, again, when you are built with, with a core that still has Steven Stamkos, who even through it all came back and scored in a short clip of play, a key goal in your Stanley Cup run. I mean, the dude is an immense skilled talent, and now he's coming back in. Uh, you got, obviously, Andre Palat there. You got the guys like Yanni Gord. So you have everybody in place still. You're just unfortunately missing a guy like Kucherov. And with most teams, when you would be missing a guy like Kucherov, that's how ridiculously built this team is. You're not even overly worried about it like John Cooper was because you have Sorelli who's even going to step up even more this year. You have Stammer coming back. Braden Point's getting better, which is scary Even that the dude's even getting better and better each year. And then uh, Andre Palat, to me, is, in terms of a winger, one of the more underrated uh, wingers that doesn't get talked about enough for the production he's able to produce at times. And then Alex Kalorn's good. Barkley Goodrow definitely became worth that first-round pick. Ended up working in uh, really well there. So it seems like everything's coming into fruition for them. And they obviously have a beast Vezina goalie in Andre Vasilevsky. And once you have a great goalie and you have the other foundation pieces, you also got another goalie in Hugo Anafelt you picked from Sweden who's been good uh, over there. And so, I mean, this team just kind of knows how to stack it for the future. They know how to stack it for the present. Uh, they've been doing both, in my opinion, very, very well. Um, and, of course, they got Volkov, uh, who's... Uh, 23, who if he needs to come up, he could play some time in the NHL. Uh, same with Barry Boulette. If he needs to come up, both are pro uh, more probably um, potential bottom six NHLers. But they can provide definitely good play for you as well. Volkov could start even. Barry Boulette will even start the season as well. And then you have prospects that are longer developing in Jack Finley and guys at the bottom in uh, Maxime um, Kalkovic. Um, from the QJMHL uh, out of St. John, as I had to write the pronunciation for that name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that in my book here. But they have guys that I just really like what they're building. They built a great culture down here when Stevie Y was down here. They're now continuing to have that great immense culture with this Tampa Bay team now with Julian Breesbach 
at the head with John Cooper, who's a very good head coach. They're doing everything right down there. They're building a great competitive contender, and they are going to be in contention again, even for the Stanley Cup, without Nikita Kucherov, because that's how scary good this team is. Somebody else, like a Barry Boulette I mentioned, or a Volkov, will probably step up uh, um, more so, or a Barkov, or Barkay Goodrow, excuse me, will step up in more of a capacity and that's just the way this team is. They always have the things fall into place. They have a great coach team. They have a great run team now at Breezebot after Eisenman left. And they just really have done a great, great job of being able to also obviously handle the cap situation with getting Gabrick in the offseason who you're able to put on long-term IR as well. He did a good job, Breezebot, in handling that situation. Now you just have to worry about in the future when Cooch comes back. But you don't have to worry about that right now with Cooch at all. So... I would say don't worry about anything right now, Lightning fans. You're going to be fine even without Kucherov. I still think you're going to be first at worst second in the Central Division. Excuse me. And I still think you'll be first, though. And this has been the Tampa Bay Lightning NHL Team Preview for Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my pages over on SteelFlyers.com as well. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. And enjoy the hockey, everybody. Peace out.